This is Rob Warren from the EBB Stadium. Thanks for bearing with us, everybody. Shorts and red socks. And Chesterfield in a blazing orange shirt, black shorts and orange and black socks. Been thrilling from start to finish. We're underway here. Teams to follow very shortly. Just allowing our listeners to join us as we've only really come on air about three minutes before kickoff. Chesterfield head the ball towards touch Southampton and uh, he had a really good season for Taunton in the league below last year oh his bar him into the area and wide pulls it back Tolage good shot to he's pulled down appeals for a penalty and nothing given by referee Andrew Humphreys field side can be attacked on and scored against we can definitely at the moment Mandeville picks the ball up sends it inside and there's a ball through it's a little bit too strong for Grigg and Jack Bycroft comes off his line swiftly and snap was the ball, he'll feel delighted to have got that early touch in both sides. Not much in the way of clear-cut chances, but Aldershot have certainly gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the massive title favourites in these opening ten minutes. As ever, the first goal could be key, and here's Colclough, he might get it now. He shoots, it's on target, and it's pushed away from his goal by Jack Bycroft on his debut. It's up to date, but Shots have lost the ball again. Minoga tackles well and wins it, comes away with it, but loses it again, and it's squared across to Colclough on the left-hand side, trying to get a shot in, it's well saved by Bycroft, hang on there Emily, and Aldershot clear their lines, stay with us for a few seconds, because Aldershot are having a counter-attack themselves, it's nil-nil obviously, Barham with the ball into the penalty area, finds Stokes, he pulls it back, it's half cleared, Tolledge holds it up, Stokes gets his shot away and it's in the goal, and it's a scruffy, scruffy goal Emily, but it's ended up in the net, and I think Josh Stokes will claim his fourth goal of the season. 25 minutes gone. All the shot down one, Chesterfield nil. There's four or five Chesterfield defenders prone, strewn across the six-yard box, even in the goal mouth. They're not quite sure how Josh Stokes managed to win that ball back, and nor am I, really. Well, but it seems the goal is being announced to our right-hand side because Stokes haven't scored it. It looks like the shots are 1-0 up and that's just reward for the endeavour of that move. Of and finds Mullins. Secondly, in a minute when we get a chance, his thoughts on Aldershot taking the lead and the task they have in beating Chesterfield today. Here's Barham, tries a cross into the far post. There's a push on the back of Tolled. He carries on and uh, Stokes can't get there. And do you know what? It was a very light push, but it was a push. And the referee, particularly against a club like Chesterfield, are already goal down. He thought about it and gave nothing. Corner then to Chesterfield. Shots one, Chesterfield nil. We're in the 33rd minute. In it comes. Lovely ball in. And it's arrowed towards goal. And it's going to end up in the goal. And the, the flag's up for a... No. Is the referee given the goal or offside? I don't know what he's given here. The flag went up. And now the referee's pointed back. I think the goal's been given, and Chesterfield's goal, Steve, is almost as scruffy as all the shots. And why would the referee hold his flag up for a goal? I don't get that. I mean, the assistant referee. Here's Minoga keeping the ball in play. Most people would have just put it into touch, but his pace allowed him to recover well. Here's Harfield. He plays it down the line, looking for Glover, but uh, King's onto the loose ball, clips the ball into the air, flick on from Mullins, and Bycroft's got it. It's broke free, and it's followed up by Will Grigg and the goal's going to count. It's another moment of slow motion, Steve. It's almost as if, the, as if the referee had stopped the play, but he hadn't. And it was bundled clear off the line, back to Grigg, and he stroked home so easily. 48 minutes gone. Aldershot Town 1, Chesterfield 2-2. Two. Two. Corner to shots at the other end. Harfield with the ball in. Two shots, players go down. Again, the referee's not interested in giving anything. Straight into the path of Jacobs, who sets Colclough away, and this is where Chesterfield looks so dangerous when they win possession. And they've got options here. Here's Jacobs, fires it out further to the right. Mandeville just has to check his stride and come back onto it. King sprints forward, he seems to be okay. Ball inside from Mandeville to Jones. Jones back to King. King inside, looking for Jacobs, gets to the byline, squares it across. And Hadji Minoga toes it agonisingly towards his own goal. But it's, as Tommy said, it's about consistency. It's not good, no good looking good for bits of games or big chunks of games. This is a corner from Mandeville to the far post. Header down, 
and it's ended up in the net. And it's it's Will Grigg, is it, or is it Naylor? It's Naylor. It's Naylor with a header at the far post, and such a soft goal again. An all the shot going into a first half lead. Wow, they've done exactly that. They've gone soft, and now they lit, they trail 3-1 in just the 54th minute. Here's Kean Harris playing the ball into the feet of Harfield. He plays it down the line for Tolladge to chase. Tolladge wins the foot race against Palmer and carries on. He's into the penalty area, squares it, and it's tapped home by Jack Palmer. It's a tap in at the far post. Great play, Ollie Harfield. Great play, Lauren Tolladge, showing Palmer up for all the problems he's having at the minute. In the 60th minute, shots two, Chesterfield three. Uh, and then the cross, a simple one. So maybe, maybe the shots can... Oh no, Chesterfield are in again on the right-hand side. And the attempted ball into the box from Naylor deflects up off of Minoga and is easy for Byford to get. 149 against Chesterfield, you've got 389 here. Shockingly poor crowd, my opinion. We'll hear Steve Gibbs in a minute. There's a challenge from Widrington. He's going to give a free kick away and he's going to get the first yellow card of the afternoon. Um, clumsy from Widrington. There's a ball from Chesterfield. Claims for handball against Dobra. Nothing given by the referee who doesn't like to give anything. Uh, Mandeville gives it back to Dobra. Dobra exchanges passes with Jacobs and then picks up the ball in a huge pocket of space. And then gets the ball into Mandeville, who squares it in. And Hadji Minoga, for the second time today, nearly scores a known goal, but he manages to lift it over the bar for a corner. The persuasion is pleased that he did, and not underneath the crossbar. Here's Mandeville with a drilled corner to the far post. Grimes sends it back in. It's headed off the line by Theo Widrington. David Marr said, I did say a few weeks ago we have 1,500. Oh, hang on, here's Tolledge. He's in the area. Tries a little lob in. Header. Oh, hits the bar and comes back down on the bar and then goes behind and it will be a goal kick. Couldn't get onto that. Tyra throws it out to Mandeville who exchanges passes with Dobra and gets into the right hand side down by the die line very easily, drives it across. And again Minoga gets a slight touch which forces Grigg who outstretches his own leg to divert his chance wide is taken quickly. Jones spreads the play out to the left-hand side to Harfield, takes it on his chest, brings it down, sends in the cross. Oh! And all the shot on level! And they deserve that! A brilliant headed goal from Jack Barham and Ollie Harfield is the assist king again. And although they weren't pushing for it, you always felt the shots could and might find another goal and they have done Byron with his third goal of the season in the 84th minute all the shot town three Chesterfield three in truth it's the goal of delivery also yeah. from Ollie Harfield once again Altrincham's unbeaten record is under threat they're 2-1 down corners headed away by Ollie Harfield Altrincham one Bromley two Ebbsfleet 4-1 up against York and Dalmalik Polian has got that one Here's Dobra going down the right-hand side, gets the ball in, it's half cleared, cleared away by Kean Harris. Oh, and then, follow, okay, it's followed up, Joe Quigley scored it. I'm going to be honest, listeners, and tell you that Haji Moga, before that, made a save with his hands, and he may be spared the sending off by the fact that the referee and the officials didn't spot it, and it came back to Quigley, who smashed it home, and shot having got level have conceded again within two minutes order shot three chesterfield four now, i think if, by the letter of the law if the ref had blown up quickly it's a red card and a penalty ball into the air is headed away by by uh, chesterfield stokes is not a judge to a foul and then the ball breaks free and it's played off a chesterfield player I feel before the game there'll be lots of goals and chesterfield will probably score more than order shot what's going on here Dobra's being lifted to the side by Widrington, right in front of the ref. Mike Jones is having a go at Widrington. Well, I think Jones had pick, previously picked up a yellow card in that melee. Yeah, referee's already got his yellow out. Widrington's already got a yellow. And if the referee sees anything wrong with what Widrington's done, he could send him another uh, yellow and he could be sent off. There it is, second yellow for Theo Widrington. Yep. And he's off and all the shot down are down to 10 men.
And I'm sorry, Theo, but when you're on a yellow card, you can't get involved in that sort of stuff. And um, he's getting a balling out from his father here now as he comes off. Listeners, everything's happened here this afternoon. And to add to it all, we're going to have nine added minutes. Aldershot Town, three, Chesterfield, four. Torage has got the ball out to Kean Harris. Ball back in the air. As a push! on Stokes and nothing given again by the referee Stokes is pushed over in the penalty area the ref gives nothing and Chesterfield come away into a channel of space down the right hand side where Quigley picks it up and holds it up and goes back to Liam Mandeville Mandeville drifting across the area goes one way then the other out to the right hand side to Jacobs less than four of the added minutes left now here's Mandeville again Tries a little ball into Quigley inside the area, holds it up, turns one way, then the other, drills it across, and Aaron Jones clears it away at the far post, cleared away by Mandeville. It bounces once and it will find touch, and I suspect the referee is going to blow very, very soon. There he does, all the shot town three, Chesterfield four.